Where are we going with all this? Uh, to get all the glass panels for the boat. But, okay. They suggested blankets or towels so, to be in between. So we're ready. Hi, I'm Danny. This is Torin, and we're turning this lifeboat into a liveaboard. So, like Torin said, today was all about windows and glass and installing them in Luya. Here's just a quick time lapse of us picking up our custom glass order. It was shockingly reasonable to get this from an automotive store. We got tempered laminated glass, so it's super thick, and we're hoping that as opposed to acrylic, which can craze and sort of discolor over time, this should last longer, but also be easier to replace if we ever need to do that. It's not sort of a custom sized or bent piece of acrylic, which could be really challenging to deal with depending where in the world we were. What we're showing here is the process of measuring around the windows so that we could see where to apply the primer. We used the same kind of glue that they used to adhere windshields to cars and I guess spoiler alert it did not really work for us but what we did there was draw around where the frame was and then Torin is cleaning it in preparation for applying primer. Yeah they do suggest that you do it in like a, an area with open ventilation. Not here then. <laughs> not in here. <laughs> This is more of like an open trash heap. Yeah. It's our special trash heap. Poor Luya, not really looking her best during construction. But anyway, we took those windows outside to prime them and then are ready to glue. So why is it notched? So that it uh, creates like a V or a triangle. And then when it uh, is pushed down, that causes that surface to become a flat square. So this was our first time doing this. We were following the manufacturer's directions, which were to clean the windows, prime them, let that dry, and then put this goop on the glue and adhere them all together, which is the process now. So then when the window's in, we're taking out the bolt thing and replacing it with a clamp thing in the same hole. Uh, yeah, but those clamps are just going to be, like, they're not really needed for, they shouldn't be needed for holding the window in, but just in case it fails, I wanted them there so that the window doesn't fall off. Are we just having them in the bottom, or are they on the top, too? They'll be on the top, too, but they don't really need to be there for, I just want to install them before it gets in the water. And then the moment of truth. All right. Don't drop it. And that is why those pieces are there. So that I can do this. Sort of put it in place. Needs a good windexing. <laughs> for all that there's just a lot of squishing going on here, this was actually pretty monumental for us to get the first window on. Little did we know we'd be cutting it right back off again within a couple of months, but this seemed really exciting. The steering station was going to have tons of visibility, and actually that we still do, but not without some trials. So do we, like, cut that off later? Which? Like the goop. The goop that's coming in? Yeah. Yeah. No, but since it is coming in, I feel like we probably could do a little bit smaller of a... Well, it's not coming in that much, just mostly at the bottom, where you had like the, like a lot. Yeah, it came out a couple places up here, but not too much. This little quarter panel that we're installing right now is actually a window that we added to the boat. They weren't there before, but they make a huge difference in visibility. Okay, so the black stuff was like a primer, right? Yeah. And then you put the glue on and it all activates together? Uh, well, I think it just is an adhesion. 
So it increases the adhesion value. Okay, okay. And then so, after that, what do we do? So we don't do anything anymore until it's dry. But then we seal it or something, right? Yeah, so we're gonna, we'll trim what comes out of the adhesion, the adhesive, and then we're gonna put a actual um, not quite a well a structural silicone around it on the inside and the outside on the inside and the outside and those that's more for well I mean theoretically this is water protection too but um, that's more for Keeping uh, like a nice neat edge and everything like that and filling up all the little gaps. Alright, so today we're going to lay out the side windows and uh, I've taken out the old side window and we're not going to bother cutting it any bigger, the hole, so we're just centering the window. Um, it's not quite square with the rest of the boat but both sides are done the same way I think that's so it's actually square to the inside so we'll live with that but uh, so we have a 22 by 18 inch glass piece so I've done the math and I need to measure sort of an inch and a quarter on the bottom and the top and two and a half on the sides I'll sort of draw it out so that we can uh, prepare for where it's going to go in the future before we glue it. So while Torin's busy gluing, I've kind of been alluding to it, but what we found pretty quickly here was that the bond somewhere between the primer and the boat and the glass failed. And so pretty soon you'll see Torin starting to cut it off. Uh, much more difficult actually than we anticipated. This stuff does have a ridiculous hold strength when it works and so even though it wasn't fully adhered anymore, it was still pretty well adhered. That said, obviously we don't want leaks, we don't want to risk something coming off and so we did make the decision to undo what we had done, go talk to the glass supplier. We got some different information from their installers than what the manufacturer actually suggests and that set us up to be in a better place to redo the windows and do a better job on the big windows, which are the most exciting part and still coming up. We still survived. cutting we were surprised when we bought the glass that we were actually given two almost complete sets of it i guess it's pretty common that the factory will make an extra set just in case something is damaged in shipping and because these were such weird sizes and the place we bought it from would never be able to use them they actually gave them to us which was really nice so torrens using this saw i think a bit more aggressively than he would have if we didn't have a spare piece of glass just in case it broke um but it never did it's good stuff <laughs> We had put this window on and we had initially been told, oh, just clean it with acetone and just wipe some acetone around the lip and it'll be fine. And we've since learned that that is not how we need to clean it way more than that. And we're supposed to use this glass cleaner, um, which we got from the glass shop that uh, sold us to glass who also do windshields. So right now we're going to try and scrape what was left of the did stick of this uh, primer off this window and then uh, we're going to have to reprime after we clean it a few times. So we'll uh, use a little Scotch-Brite pad and the glass cleaner and then clean that off and then we use this sort of white foam which has got uh, sort of like an abrasive grit in there and uh, 
it will also, I guess, microscopically score the surface of the glass and clean it. So okay. that's what we have to do. So let's hope that we can come off here with, with this. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, there we go. These two are cleaning. I just want to jump in really quickly and say thank you so much to Random Button Pusher for suggesting a name for our dinghy that we both really like, Piku. It's super cute, goes really well with Luvia, and um, yeah, we love it. So PM us your address if you want us to send you a sticker and a note. And thank you so much for solving our naming problem. I mean, I would—it's gonna dry, so I think we should be Do we need the wiping as we go. Yeah, no. We probably should do a whole edge at a time so we know what we're doing, but... And once it was all clean, we just measured in a couple of inches to give us a guideline of where the primer would go on the installation part two. Then we just do that all the way around. Or we uh, used uh, like masking tape, but it ended up being a little bit of a nightmare trying to get the masking tape off. Uh. So, I'm gonna try to paint within the lines. So Torin is painting the primer onto the glass. It's fairly toxic, so I'm standing well back. But this stuff goes on and dries for half an hour, and then we put the glue on the boat, and then once the two touch, then that's it. They don't come apart unless you haven't cleaned your glass well enough, and then they do come apart as we previously <laughs> discovered. But We've done much more cleaning this time, so we should hopefully not have any issues. How come you're using wool? Uh, because it goes on evenly without streaks. Ah. So he's got these little, like, wool daubers. There's little like wool and puff balls instead of a paint can or a paintbrush. False alarm. All right. So once the big pieces of glass were primed, then Torn went up and also primed the fiberglass frames so that we would have a primer glue primer sandwich.
Is this the size we have a spare of? Uh, it is. Oh, that's fine then. Understandably, I think this was all a little bit stressful. Obviously, we didn't want to drop a huge piece of glass and shatter it all over the place, but like we've mentioned, this bond was instant. So Torrin's just kind of trying to line it up, but then once he presses down, it is stuck there, ideally forever. Realistically, not quite, but still, I mean, they're not coming off very easily. So it was a one and done in terms of lining it up and also probably <laughs> carrying it up the ladder. Those things were not about to bounce. top left corner a little bit. As Torrin's pushing the windows on here, we are also pushing pause on this project and this video. We'll be back soon with another episode. You'll be happy to hear it is almost edited, so it is short and sweet, but our gap should be as well. So come back to the channel, follow us on Instagram, and thank you so much for all the support. We really appreciate it and um, yeah, really appreciate your loyalty as well.